I have been preparing to sell at my first convention, which is Anime North 2024. Technically, I'm a guest of Dolls North, but it's all in the same building under the same convention. Come along with me through this convention weekend, starting with loading up the car. I have a ton of bins holding stock, as well as my table setup stuff. Also, tools, toolkits, repair kits, and of course, stuff like clothes and etc. for the weekend. The drive to Toronto from where I live is about four hours and I pretty much just spent the entire time knitting doll clothes and listening to Reddit stories. The convention started on Friday, but we came in on Thursday afternoon so we could have a more laid back setup experience, if that's even possible. Also please excuse my voice, I did lose it over the weekend, we'll get into that later. After a really relaxing evening watching improv and eating yummy food from Flower Lantern, it was time for bed because there was a big day tomorrow. Good morning, it is day one and I'm so excited and nervous. The good news about this day is that it was going to be a literally beautiful sunny day with like great weather. The downside is of course that I'm going to be inside Quick little get ready with me with no makeup brushes or setting spray on the first day. Ugh. The hotel had an Anime North guest breakfast and really terrible coffee, which we had each morning. Okay, by this time it's 11 and we still have time to kill, so we drove over to Walmart and grabbed some water, makeup brushes, and a couple other things we needed, including some snacks. And now it's go time! After a bit of a wait, we did get our passes from the Dolls North organizer and we're ready to set up. Setup was pretty easy and took about two hours. The table was a little narrower than we anticipated, so we had to rework some stuff, but it did work out well. And we were all set up a whole hour before the convention opened. I credit this to the literal hours I spent planning out of what my setup was going to look like, as well as the two practice runs I did of actually making my setup. It also helps that I left the dolls on the stands, as in the clips of the stands on the dolls, so that I just had to slide them onto the stands. And also, I, did, I don't know why this didn't even occur to me, but I had a whole second person helping me. So while I was doing fiddly things like setting up dolls or like positioning things, I had him to secure everything into place and put up signage and all kinds of stuff so like having a helper made this way easier no one is surprised but me i guess so before the convention opened we took a few minutes to walk around and check out what was going on in artist alley artist alley is my favorite place in all of dolls north slash anime north and i just love seeing what other people make so the convention opened at 5 p.m. and it was a bit slow at first, but it picked up soon after that. On day one, we were able to sell a handful of dolls as well as minifigures and doll clothes. I really thought the Silly Sithers were going to be my number one seller because I got so many compliments on them from the non-BJD people. It turns out though that the first day number one sellers were Roly Polies and my little chibi figures. My number two sellers were chibi kits and blank dolls, and my key rings. I did have Travis there, of course, helping me sell, and we both took time to take a couple breaks. I used my breaks to take photos of Hollow in the Dolls North photo booth that was literally 10 feet away from me, and I did a speed run around Artist Alley and scoped out some goodies for myself and my kids. I will post a Dolls North slash anime north hall over on my second channel teenier tinkers if you're into that please check out my second channel it's almost at a thousand subscribers kind of almost and honestly it's been a goal for a long time so it'd be very cool if you checked it out also on the first day i sold one of the poly pockets i made to this really cute girl who made her own poly pockets as in like the characters 
and carries them around to take pictures with. She was so freaking cute and she gave me a pin and it was just a really cute interaction. On the first day, I also got to meet a couple fans, but I'm a super awkward person in real life when I don't know people very well. And I saw a lot of people were just covering their stuff with sheets and then the other half seemed to be fully packing things away. I took to the fully packing away because I was way too nervous to leave a bunch of expensive dolls on a table unattended. We took everything back to the hotel and then got Uber Eats, but it took until almost midnight to show up and it was cold and sad and I was cold and sad, but I just went to bed because Saturday was going to be the long day of the convention. No raise for you. You got the raise of the title of- Working overtime too. You got the raise of the title of Mr. Tinkers. I need the bank it for extra vacation days. Okay, so I would say good morning here, but this was a rough wake up. I really wish I'd had more sleep and we had to be there to get the table prepped for 9 a.m. So we had to get up at like 7 a.m. even with very little sleep. Also peep the Barbie pajamas. I love these, they're so cute and soft. Because it was a very little sleep day, I got dressed in my comfies and went down for some quick breakfast before we went out the door. Okay, so setup on this day was extremely quick because all of the backdrop and all the pricing stickers and everything were already out. So it was really easy to get everything ready by 10 a.m. Also, by the way, the table beside me was Lisa from PG Daydreams. She's a fellow Canadian ball joint adult artist and she makes really, really, really cute stuff too. And um, she was also like the co-guest with me. So we were just like chilling and hanging out. But okay, this day, I knew it was gonna be the longest day, but by 3 p.m. I was so beyond exhausted. I met and talked with so many people, which is amazing, but really draining. People are so kind and love the figures. We sold a bunch of silly scissors and roly polies again. I was so excited and grateful because by noon on Saturday, we had exceeded the sales goal we had set for the weekend. And honestly, it's a really good thing because Anime North had battle bots going for eight hours straight at extremely high volumes. And it was extremely frustrating and hard to hear and a heavy contributor into why I have lost my voice and why I sound so gravelly and terrible right now. But for that reason, and because of the extreme overstimulation I was feeling, we decided it was an opportunity to pack up and that way I could attend some of the Dolls North events and all of that. Because realistically, when you're stuck behind a booth, you really don't get to do much at the convention. So I was excited for the chance to go ahead and attend some of the events and mingle with the people. Even though I packed up on Saturday, and I really hope nobody missed the opportunity to buy a doll at the con or was waiting until Sunday. I'm really sorry if that happened. I am having a stock sale on June 1st. It will be open and there are lots of dolls because as anticipated, I sold a lot more figurines and like small accessories than I did big dolls um, or full BJDs. So there are plenty of those to go around. I did also get to sneak away for a little bit, like literally 10 minutes to go check out the Dolls North Marketplace. There was a bunch of secondhand dolls for sale, um, a lot of the blank dolls, some clothing items, some costume items, like a little bit of everything. And unfortunately this year, nothing really grabbed my interest um, in a big way. So I didn't leave with anything, but it was cool to see that there was more things like passion dolls and playline dolls. So it was more general doll inclusive this year um, than last year when I was here as an attendee. But yeah, I know a lot of people are into Playline dolls and Monster Highs and stuff. So if you are worried about there not being anything for you, there definitely is. And I would just recommend maybe looking into going next year if that is something you're interested in. But yeah, that was basically the only real time I got away during the day was to go check this out. Bye.
But before all of that, Peachy Daydreams and I had a panel. Unfortunately, the panel was not really advertised. Um, Dolls North didn't really post about it. And it was not really in the brochure. It was listed as Dolls North guest panel, which is pretty vague in my opinion. So I was expecting to show up and literally nobody be there. But to our surprise, there were 20 or 25 people who did show up to watch the panel. It was pretty rocky at first, but we did manage to fill out an entire hour, which I guess isn't a surprise, maybe given my ability to talk incessantly, especially about something I really enjoy, like sculpting. But yeah, like I said, I was really burnt out, but even more so, we had passed our sales goal early in the afternoon and were super happy with where we were at, so we just went ahead and packed up. We got back to the hotel around 10.30 p.m. on Saturday, and I had a quick dinner, and then I fell asleep for 11 straight hours. I was woken up like the dead at 10 a.m. by Travis, a.k.a. Mr. Tinkers. I got dressed super quick and threw down some coffee and breakfast before heading to the Delta Hotel for Project Runway at 11.30. Oh, also, here's a couple of the pins I picked up at Anime North. One from Bumbleberry Hollows and one from Death Petal. I love them both. But yeah, like I said, I'll show off everything I got in my haul later on. When I showed up at Project Runway, I thought I was going to be doing something. I wasn't sure, but nobody asked me to and I was just standing there. So I just kind of mingled. I was asked if I was coming for the award ceremony at 2. I made sure to show up for that, though I didn't end up doing anything for that either. Um... It was kind of a weird experience. I'm not going to talk about it in this vlog, but uh, maybe I'll post a separate video about my experience as a guest or like chat about it quickly in my coffee and dollies. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, anyways. At this point, I'm super wiped out and kind of like in a kind of off mood. At this point, I needed to decompress and relax and enjoy the rest of the weekend before heading home. But that's basically it for my Anime North vlog. If you're already subscribed, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!